Hoagland Howard Carmichael was born in 1899 in Bloomington. His father was an itinerant laborer, laborer who moved his family throughout the Midwest, looking for steady work, yet always returning to Indiana. Home was back in Bloomington, where they'd left his wife Lita's golden oak piano. She helped support the family by playing at the local movie house and for university dances. Quote, ragtime was my lullaby, Hoagie said. And though his mother was thrilled when he picked out a tune on the Golden Oak, she warned him, music is fun, Hoagland, but, but it don't buy you corn pone. Lita Carmichael thought her son might grow up to be president of a railroad, and he might have too because ambition burned hot in him. But in 1919, he heard Louis Jordan's band, not the same Louis Jordan from uh, the 30s, in Indianapolis. And this African-American ensemble of early jazz players, quote, exploded in me almost more music than I could consume. Hoagie went on to study law at Indiana University, but he was already a jazz maniac. And his own band, the Carmichael Syringe Orchestra, was made up of a gang of loose cannons whose spiritual leader was a Dada-inspired poet named Monk, different Monk. Quote, there are other things in this world besides hot music, Monk advised Hoagie in a serious moment. I forget what they are, but they're around. Those other things were named Dorothy Kelly, and to Hoagie, she was more than a first love. Dorothy was a secure, respectable life in one of those big houses up in the hill in Bloomington he dreamt of as a boy. And when he held her in his arms, that was what he wanted more than anything else. But then, Hoagie heard a young cornetist named Dick Spiderbeck. And, quote, it threw my judgment out of kilter. This was a sound like nothing he'd heard before. And when Hoagie played an improvised tune for Bix, the strange young man with the magical horn said, why don't you write music, Hoagie? And the rest of his life was the answer to Bix's question. I could go on, but let's get to the music. This is called Little Old Lady. Yeah. 
Yeah, little old lady. Uh, Hoagie loved to, to paint musical pictures of life in Indiana in its uh, slow pace. Little old ladies on the porch knitting. And here's another one featuring Julie Michaels, and it's entitled... Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> here's another one in that kind of mood of, of reminiscence of uh, missing something about Indiana. Can't get Indiana off my mind. And uh, we love the drive from Toronto to Oakville. <laughs> um, I'd like to introduce uh, the members of the band first, firstly. Um, tonight, of course, um, Charlotte uh, McAfee Bruner was supposed to be here, but she got ill, and we tried everything, but she couldn't come to play her wonderful trombone. But you can see her on the, uh, the uh, website, Oliver's website, and we'll try to get her back again another time. So on piano, Josh Smiley. Yes. On saxophone, Dave Hodgson. <laughs> On drums, Tim Shaw. Um, my name is George Kohler on bass. And soon you'll hear from Julie Michaels on voice. Yay. off my mind that's the place I long to be back in Indiana I will find all those folks so dear to me how I long to see that lazy river Stop and give her my love In my dreams I see a lady knitting For the one she's thinking of Can't get Indiana off my mind No matter where I chance the moonlight on the Wabash that I left behind Calls me back home Stop. 
stop and give her my love In my dreams I see a lady knitting For the one she's thinking of Get Indiana off my mind No matter where I chance to roam Moonlight on the Wabash That I left behind Calls me back home a Christmas tree heading for the one I love gonna pop her the question that question do you darling do you do it'll be easy so easy if I can only bank on you oh buttermilk sky I'm telling you why now you know I'll keep it in mind tonight keep a brushing those clouds from sight oh buttermilk sky don't you feel me when I'm needing you most? Hang a moon above her hitching post. Hitch me to the one I love. Question, that question, do you, darling, do you do? It'll be easy, so easy, if I can only bank on you. Oh, buttermilk sky, I'm a telling you why, now you know. Keep it in mind tonight, keep brushing those clouds from sight. Oh, buttermilk sky, don't you feel me when I'm needing you most? Hang a moon above a hitching post, hitch me to the one I love. You can if you try, don't tell me no lies. Will you be mellow and bright tonight? What about a milk sky? And uh, you can see we're 
playing some of the slightly lesser known tunes, but we're getting to the hits gradually. And here's another one, Memphis in June, to give you another sense of that slow moving pace. And uh, yes, times that we wish we could have again sometimes. <laughs> in June a shady veranda under a Sunday blue sky Memphis in June cousin Miranda baking a rhubarb pie The clock inside just ticking and talking. Everything's peaceful and dandy. I can see old Granny across the street. She's still love rocking. Watching the neighbors go by. My, my. Memphis in June, sweet old Leander, breathing perfume in the air. Up jumps the moon to make it that much grander. Well, this paradise. Darling, take my advice Nothing half as nice as Memphis in June Here's another tune that you may or may not know. It's uh, called New Orleans. And um, I like to feature the bass on this one, New Orleans being the gumbo capital of the world where all these cultures met, native, indigenous, with Afro-American, with uh, European, with uh, uh, various factions from the Orient, uh, India, they all met there. So I'll try to recreate uh, some of that 
from the base.
Thank you. And here's Julie to sing for us one of Hoagie's most famous tunes, Skylark, and features a little intro by Josh. But my heart 
God is riding on your wings So if you see them anywhere Won't you lead me One of my favorite songs ever.
Dave Hutchin on sax, Josh Smiley on piano. Well, we have a couple more in this set, starting with uh, Julie doing another very famous hoagie tune, The Nearness of You. Now, you have to understand, this was a surprise to me, because normally we'd have Charlotte sing this, and I gotta tell you, she does a great job, right? And I haven't sung this song in a very, very long time. So I'm ardently hoping I remember it. Thank you. I'm going to need all the moral support I could get. Well, thank you. The bar is open and immoral support is around the corner. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> excites me that thrills and delights me oh no it's just the nearness of you Isn't your sweet conversation that brings this sensation? Oh no, it's just the nearness of you. soft lights to enchant me if you Thank you. 
me the nearness of you When I am in your arms And I feel you so close to me Enchant me If you Would only Grant me The right To hold you Ever So tight And to in the night the very nearness Thanks, Julie. Well, we're going to finish this first set with a short version of um, a tune called Lazy Bones. And I'm sure the lyrics are about, you know, someone, an elder scolding a young, a young one for <laughs> sitting around doing nothing all day. Kind of like the video game culture of today. <laughs> So we've funked it up, uh, Lazy Bones 2.0, with a funky groove. Um, I think uh, Hoagie would appreciate it. <laughs> 